Whoa, what's this? Hello everyone and welcome back to Cattails. We are returning with Creek's Adventures to unravel all of the mysteries and the conspiracies that are happening throughout the various cat colonies of this world. And we have just walked out of our den with the intention of going exploring and hunting up in the Northern Mountain Territory only to crash right into Coco, the mysterious tuxedo cat who has powers of teleportation and is into all sorts of mysteries of his own. This must very much feel for Creek kind of like meeting the ultimate alien or something mysterious like that. So let's go ahead and see what he wants from us today. Listen, there's something I want you to see. Something tells me you could help with it. <gasps> oh my gosh, are we actually going to have some sort of thing for Creek to like focus on trying to help out with? I am on top of this. Maybe you can restore the balance. <gasps> Creek is the perfect cat for this. If you get a free moment, you should come see me at the Sacred Temple. It's right in the middle of the wilderness. You can find it on your map. I'll meet you there. And there he goes again. <laughs> oh my goodness, you guys. It is like Creek has just woken up to a beautiful Christmas day because unraveling mysteries like that, Elisa, we, we just have to say a quick hello to you because unraveling mysteries and conspiracies like this is 100% up Creek's alley. So let's go ahead and say hello to Alyssa. There's a calm tranquility to be found in winter. Gazing upon the falling flakes of snow, I cannot help but think of my warm den. Oh, Alyssa, that's wonderful. If I had a fish or something, I would give it to you, but I do not. And now I need to run to the sacred temple. But that is so interesting. Oh, Savannah! Oh, I wish I had presents for you. I wonder if she likes winter berries. Ah, ah. Okay, we're going to say a quick hello to Savannah. Creek, I was just thinking about you. Stay a while and let's chat. And actually, I feel like Savannah gave Creek a little pouch the first day they met, and that's why we have an inventory. And maybe, I wonder if Coco gave the map to her? I really enjoy it when you stop by, friend. Anything new for me today? <laughs> well, we can go ahead. Let's give her a winter berry. There we go. Thank you. I really like this gift. I'm so glad she likes it. Also, come here, crow. I'm going to slide across the ice and cha. All right. I couldn't pass up a healthy looking crow to snag in this winter wasteland. So now that we have gotten a little bit of prey. Oh, no. Why is the prey suddenly so abundant when we actually need to run out of here? Creek, get it. Get it! Get it! It's your favorite! It's a toad! Oh, we missed it. Alright, well, we're gonna run out of here anyway. Um, and run right into battle! No! No! Down, Crystal! Bad, Crystal! Bad, Kiki! Both of you, down! Come on, Forte! Yay! The battle is won! So we somehow managed to, like, walk right into a fight. There's a lot going on today. I hope Forte is gonna be okay. I hope that's how you pronounce his name. Let's go ahead and let Creek eat a little bit. We don't have any healing items, but at least we have gotten a little bit of our energy back and at least we have managed to complete a battle against forest colony who really seems to be losing it when it comes to attacking us lately i really feel like forest colony oh no is there another battle going on ah okay we were just right over here and uh, or were we right over here we were like right over here forest colony no longer has any reputation in that area but i i just can't believe that the battles are so fierce i wonder if the forest can't fight the mountain because mountain colony is too strong and so they keep coming to try to raid our colony in desperate attempts to feed themselves for the winter okay we hear the sounds of cats battling we can't pass this up all right there you go take that patience take that Oh, a ninja! It's down to ninja and leaf! It's down to ninja and leaf! The battle is won. We didn't even take a single hit. Leaf, you are a beautiful strawberry-colored cat. I think I can hear something moving in the grass out that way. Oh my gosh, the balance of the world is really thrown off if we are just like colliding into one gigantic cat fight after another, as well as colliding into that tree. Sorry about that, Creek. All right, that solidified Mystic Colony's control of that area. All right, okay, let's keep running. And we're going to go straight across the ice and we're going to dash our way into the temple. And we are going to see what Coco has to say. Coco, you better not be proposing to me. We have some plans with Alyssa, you know. You're here. Good. Now we just have to make sure there's no one else around. Coco? Okay, looks like we're alone. I'm about to show you a place I've never shown anyone else. I think you might be able to help me. Coco, what is happening? Follow me, Creek. Down into the temple ruins. What? 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 I'm going to grab that rose while we're going by. What? What? 
<laughs> well, this is it. The temple ruins. Pretty neat, isn't it? Okay, you guys, this is like Christmas Day for Creek. Conspiracy theories right under the places where so many cats have put their paws. This is perfect for her. Perfect for her. This is where I live. I don't let most cats in here, but I've made an exception for you. I don't know why, but it's like something inside me is telling you, uh, in, inside me is telling me that you can help me with a small problem that I'm having. You see, I'm not the only one that lives here. These ruins are also the residence of a kindly nature spirit. The forest guardian watches over the wilds and maintains balance between all living things. Willow, what are you doing here? <laughs> Props to any of the Sims 3 Warrior Cat Challenge watchers who get the reference. But now the forest guardian is gone. Disappeared. Vanished. Dang it, Willow, I told you you couldn't go to China. Again, inside joke for Sims 3 Warrior Cats. One day the guardian was here. The next day the guardian wasn't. The balance is broken. That's the last thing they said to me before they left. But Coco, that's a big problem. That's not a small size problem. That's a big problem. I don't know what to do. Maybe the forest guardian is weakening. Maybe it's a test. But I think you might be the solution to this mess. We should bounce some ideas off each other. There's an old prophecy about the arcane pillars that line the halls of the temple ruins. You can find them around the room. They look like dark standing stones. The prophecy said that the pillars have endured, endowed some sort of power, but I haven't figured out how to activate them just yet. Maybe you know how? Well, we have been talking to talking totems in the middle of the forest. Listen, I know it sounds crazy. Nothing, nothing could out of the teleporting cat's mouth, Coco, don't you worry. But you have to try to get them working for me. Check out the pillars for me, won't you? All right, I'm on it, Coco. This is indeed, uh, this is definitely six pillars. This is definitely something else. What? This is so cool. Okay, so I'm sniffing it. I'm looking at it. There's one. This one's missing a tree. You clearly need a tree growing underground here, Coco. Whoa, okay, hang on here. What did, what did you do? Hey, you told me to investigate them, buddy. What do you mean you don't know? Look at the arcane pillar. It's pulsing with light. How odd. It's like it's reacting to you. Hey now. Well, this is a step in the right direction. <sighs> did you see those symbols above the pillar? What do you think it means? Three mice, two squirrels, one black rabbit, and one normal rabbit. Maybe the pillar is trying to tell us something. Oh, I have an idea. Maybe you should go and collect all those items, then bring them to this pillar. That might be enough to activate its power and bring the forest guardian back. Maybe try placing the items at the foot of the pillar. That just might work. What? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> A little bit. This is like, I need to pinch myself because this is like totally right what Creek is all about. And here she is. Oh my gosh, it's getting really excited now that we're here with this little, oh, oh my goodness. Okay, well, we have some mice. This is really amazing. We've completed giving it enough mice to eat. I have a squirrel. Oh my gosh have a squirrel pillar and it must just vanish maybe maybe the forest guardian's just hungry and just wants some food so we need to bring back one squirrel one rabbit and one black hair talk about intense what on earth can we activate any of the rest who's the forest guardian i'm so curious will the trees like flourish what where does coco sleep like there's there's even grates with water in the back. So what? This is kind of interesting, you guys. We have definitely stumbled onto a huge mystery, a gigantic mystery, a mystery to rival all other mysteries. <laughs> I, I can't think of anything more perfect for Creek, who is always curious about these conspiracies. Those strange markings on the arcane pillar seem like types of prey. Maybe you should try catching them and lying them at the be the base of the pillar. There we go. But uh, yeah, this is this is straight up Creek's Alley. This is conspiracy theory after conspiracy theory that has just like burst to life under her paws. We need to go find some of those other prey items: squirrels, rabbits, hares. What 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 what's this? What is this? This is another entrance to something. Open. Open. I demand you open. I demand it. Oh my gosh. 
if we light this thing, will it open? Who knows? Who knows? This world is full of mysteries. You think it's just some sort of easy peasy, relaxing little stroll in the forest for a wild cat? Little did you know, it is actually something far more complex and far more curious than uh, anything I definitely thought of. But this is also good because it is a great segue for Creek to begin her journey in greeting and building up relationships and reputations with the other colonies. And that is actually something you can do in Cattails, my friends. We have been sticking to the Mystic Colony and we have been really strengthening our foothold there, building up friendships and possibly even some romance, but we actually can make friends in the other cat colonies. There are special cats that you can meet and greet and you can bribe to uh, allow you escort into the colony. And once you get inside of the colony, you can actually talk to and befriend and trade with and even romance the cats from other colonies. So I'm very, very interested in seeing how we could make that work. And I like the idea that we will move into the mountain and forest colony because we are trying to unravel all of the different legends of the land. So Creek's excuse for leaving the safe hold of Mystic Colony and adventuring into the northern mountains and then deep into the leafy forest is because she needs to go and talk with and interview the cats there to gather legends about the world. So she truly will become Creek, the legend hunter. I'm very excited for her, but let's see if we can catch any more prey. I think she would be so thrilled and she would just be like, no, we can't attack each other. You don't understand this pillar, this pillar, it needs food. <laughs> I think the other cats might consider her like completely bonkers. Oh, there's Gypsy. It's like, no, don't attack me right now, Gypsy. I'm trying to get this frog. Come back, frog. Come back. Oh, dang it. All right, so we're going to continue searching for more prey to be able to bring home. Oh, look at this. It's one of the stones. And meanwhile, Creek is also discovering... Oh, she just discovered another power pot. Oh my gosh, that's so exciting. So clearly her, her discovery of the ruins today and her adventures up in the mountain territory are starting to bear quite a bit of fruit. Oh, and there's a lake here. Wow, and she's finding all sorts of beautiful frozen spots that I'm sure she'll enjoy. We're gonna we're just gonna casually skate away from Finn before he can catch us creek drifts across the ice because she's so good at uh, being able to <laughs> She's so good at being able to skate across ice. There's all these stairs. That's so interesting I wonder where there's stairs in the kitty cats world. Maybe some humans used to walk around here All right, and we'll drift down here Search and poke and try to find our way What about over here? Oh, there's a mouse. Oh, we scared it off. We'll try to find our way through the forest and let's eat the crow that we caught earlier. Wonderful. Definitely filled us up. And we will try to find... Oh, there's more prey. More prey that we can take back not only to the pillar, but also more prey so that we can fill up our pockets, which uh, somebody did suggest that Savannah actually gave us like this cute little rucksack the first day we met her and kind of helped to solidify our friendship with her. I thought that was not only so cute, but it's a great explanation for where Creek actually ended up getting the ability to store inventory for. And every time we buy inventory expansions, uh, Feisty, what are you doing here? This is our corner. Back off, Feisty. Why are you so strong? Hey, 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 come on. Da, uh, da, 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 da. All right, so we got Feisty out of here. Forest Colony must be really desperate. They are just all over the place trying to attack us lately. And let's get this mouse. There we go. Good. Creek is definitely a better hunter ever since we upgraded her hunting skill. We can upgrade her hunting skill again. Okay, I think that it's worth upgrading again because we have learned that we actually need to make her a fantastic hunter in order to be able to bring the prey to the temple ruins and bring balance back into the world. So I wonder if there'll be more than just prey. I wonder if you'll have to bring back treasures. I wonder if you'll have to bring things in from the mines. I wonder if you might have to bring in, uh, oh, hi, Leaf. I'm glad that you're still doing well. I wonder if you'll have to bring in things like, um, 
oh gosh, oh, there's some more prey. Like the, the different herbs that you can collect or the seashells. Hello, frog. No, shop. Ah, got away. Oh my gosh, and it is so late. Okay, we're going to go ahead and have Crete go home. This has been a very, very, very eventful day for her. It truly is like Christmas popping right under her paws. And I am so excited to see where her adventures and her journeys will take her next time. So I'll see you guys then. Bye-bye.